Hey there, it's episode two of the all new Rebooted Vlog Season 2. Today I'm going to be talking about health and well-being. So I'm going to try and have a topic and like a loose structure for each episode. Just like a subject to, to riff around. So today it's health and well-being. Uh, last week was just a bit of an introduction just to say Hey guys, I'm uh, back at it after a long, long absence of vlogging. So, at the, at the end of the last episode, I'm quite, still quite reluctant to call an episode. In the last installment, I signed off by saying, I signed off by saying, you stay classy, Jester. I need a new sign off. So again, in the comments, leave what you want it to be because I'm going to finish with that today and I really don't want to. Uh, but yeah, I also, towards the tail end of the episode, I said that I was going to weigh myself at Boots because I'm on a bit of a health kick. I'm glad to report that I've uh, lost nine pounds over the last month. So on around the 18th of each month, I'm going to be weighing myself to find out my progress. And the machine at Boots as well is better than my bathroom scales. I sort of hit those now. I don't want to micro keep checking where I'm at. I'm just going to go every month to, to find out the more global holistic score. But uh, the, the scales there, they tell you like your body fat, your BMI, and I know a lot of people in a previous post said, hey, BMI isn't the, the best metric to measure and it all depends on muscle and things like that. But again, it's still something to track. And what doesn't get measured? You don't make progress on. That isn't the exact quote, but I, I do like that. I like to pretty much measure everything around my my main goals. But anyway, I, I digress. So nine pounds lost. And I was pretty pretty impressed with that. Uh, as I said, this latest health kick didn't start because of weight loss. I mean, I acknowledge that I was slightly overweight. <laughs> Uh, but it actually started because my cholesterol levels had risen. Uh, obviously that can only really be checked through blood tests. So although that's the main thing that I'm trying to reduce, I won't really find out for another four or five months. Uh, so I'm trying to leave it around six, seven months to see how the, the change of diet and exercise as well uh, come, into, come into play. But uh, I think if the, the weight levels are going down and I have drastically changed my, my diet, that uh, the cholesterol levels should also, also be dropping. So I thought I'd just explain a little bit about what I've done and the, the lifestyle changes that I've made. I know in October I went to the NAC in Birmingham. No, not the NEC. Uh, it was right next door to that. The National Achievers Congress, and there was a lot of talkers there. Uh, Grant Cardo, Ty Lopez, uh, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, but a lot of the, the speakers and presenters, uh, I'd say 25% of them, one of the main messages that they were saying was you need to have a healthy body, you need to have a healthy mind, and therefore healthy business. Or if you don't run a business, a healthy career, you don't want to be burning out. It's something that a lot of people usually neglect. Uh, I know I, I was guilty of that. It's sort of, oh, I've got all these goals and ambitions and targets so I'll just put help on the, the back burner but that's like fundamental and a, a key building stone really to to, to grow from uh, but yeah I'm, I was totally guilty of that just getting in really tired it's so easy to just throw a pizza in the oven and I was probably averaging about four pizzas a week that's being conservative pizzas in the, the whole of this year. In fact, well, I know it's only February, but that's pretty impressive for me. That's like one week's worth of pizzas for me, usually. Uh, but yeah, so what, what changes uh, have I made? Uh, it's mainly been dietary. So, uh, like I said, this was all kicked off because of my rising cholesterol levels, uh, which I was aware of for a while. I just haven't really taken action on, on it. So I went to the doctors a few years ago for a, a blood test and he told me that 
hey Chris, your cholesterol levels are rising. And he gave me, printed off a, a fact sheet and said, you know, these are the dietary changes you should make. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool. I folded it up, put it in my pocket. I think I put it in a folder when I got back. I skimmed through it when I first got in over the table. I made exactly zero changes. A year later, I went back to see him and yeah, the cholesterol levels had risen. I was like, oh, actually, I probably should uh, do something about this. I didn't really do any research again. I don't even think I looked at the original fact sheet, but I started to make a few changes. Uh, started to eat a bit more fruit. I was quite active at that point anyway. I was doing a lot of swing dancing, and at that point I was cycling to work from, from Hull in Chester to Deeside Industrial Estate. So that was about 35 minutes each way. So yeah, over an hour cycling each day with a couple of nights of swing dancing. But uh, so when I went to see him the year after, I thought, hey, the, uh, the cholesterol levels will have gone down now. I've made some changes. They'd actually gone up again. Uh, so at that point, so this brings us, just for, for your reference, this brings us up to last November, November 2019. At that point when I found out my cholesterol levels had gone up again, I was like, right, I'm really going to do something about this. I didn't even dig out the old fat sheet, I just went online, dedicated a couple of hours. I, I, uh, I allowed myself Christmas. I thought, you know what, Christmas is coming. Uh, he said, we'll do a blood test in six months. And I just said to him, listen, Doc, <laughs> I'm going to make changes this time. I really am, believe me. I know you probably hear this a lot, but uh, I really am. But also being realistic, Christmas is coming. So I'm just not going to think about it for the next four weeks because the grand scale of my life, what is four weeks? And then I'm going to hit it hard in the new year. And I have to say, that is exactly what I've uh, got on to do. So, uh, <laughs> a bit off track here so yeah i dedicated a couple of hours just to really reading in and looking at youtube videos on what to do and this wasn't for weight loss this was purely for cholesterol uh, so if anyone does have high cholesterol and even if you don't i mean this is just general good things to uh to do if you're not if you haven't made these changes yourself so uh i basically cut back on pretty much all red meat uh I probably ate beef about two times this year. I actually ate pork earlier this week, but otherwise I'm eating a lot of fish for the omega freeze uh, because omega free is good for reducing cholesterol. Uh, so I'm sure you probably know from all those Benacol adverts, there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. Uh, so I'm also drinking some of those uh, Benacol yogurt drinks. Other brands are available. It's not the Benacol one I'm having, uh, but uh, yeah, so really reduce the amount of uh, red meats I'm eating, a lot more fish, especially salmon, uh, yellowfish, I love yellowfish, that's more of a treat for me, and uh, a lot more tuna as well, and I just go for, for tin tuna. Again, all the changes that I've made, I'm seeing good results on the weight and, and general energy levels as well, but there's still a lot more I can be doing, because uh, I'm still eating uh, some processed things, but uh, I'm just gonna slowly keep building up over the time. And when I see, say, processed things, I mean like it will be couscous or it will be uh, certain kind of beans, but they may be out of a packet as opposed to completely preparing it from fresh. But again, one of the main things that I was eating so badly, it wasn't because I didn't care about my health, it's just I prioritized other things over it. And especially dating, uh, uh, an Italian girl, she, is that sexist to say girl? Do you have to say woman, lady these days? I'm sorry, no, no offense is meant either to Ermi or any other women that are watching. But uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a British thing. It's a very British thing. We just go for convenience. Whereas I think more of the European lifestyle is, hey, we'll have a siesta. It's more about eating with family. Uh, really winding down, taking time to, to prepare your meals. Uh, she says like food equals love. You know, that's how you show you take care of someone. And the most important person to take care of is yourself. If you, if you don't look after yourself, then you really can't be there or, or be there to serve others. But 
yeah, so where was I going before that digression? You can tell these vlogs are just going to be random meanderings of my mind just going off. But at least we've got a, a loose structure today. Uh, so yeah, um, big changes, a lot more grains. I've been in a lot more grains. Uh, this probably isn't so important if you don't have high cholesterol levels, but I've been cutting back a lot on dairy. I know obviously you, you can never win these battles. <laughs> if you cut one thing out, then always oh, going to have effects on something else. But uh, obviously for, for your bones and things, you do want to be taking on that, that calcium from dairy, but there are other ways to get that in your diet. So I'm having uh, low fat milk, the red one. I never had that growing up. I was always a green guy. I always went for that semi-skimmed. Uh, but yeah, so just lots and lots of changes. Again, on the cholesterol level, garlic. If you, if you do see me out and about, maybe don't get so close, especially if you're a vampire. I've, uh, I'm trying to eat like an average of two to three cloves of garlic a day. Uh, and then again, if food preparation is an issue on that day, then I've got like pre-ground garlic that I can just sprinkle onto a pizza or sprinkle into a soup pizza. I just give myself away that. I have had a few this year. Okay, let me off. I'm trying, I'm trying my best, damn it. Uh, so yeah, uh, and then the exercise. I have to say, I've kind of fallen off the swing bandwagon. Uh, I've not been going so much recently. Again, just been super, super busy. Sorry if anyone from Cheshire Swing Cards or Mersey Swing are listening. I will see you again soon. <laughs> It's priorities, man. I'm trying to look after my heart, I'm trying to look after my business, I'm trying to nurture a relationship, I'm trying to see friends. Something's got to give. I will be back, I will be back. Uh, but yeah, so, but I have been exercising as well. Uh, again, I'm not, a, I'm not really a gym person. I used to be when I was 16 and insecure about how small I was, how the tables have turned. Uh, but now, I just like to go when when the time suits you know I wake up early right it's time for a run I don't want that whole right now I have to get up and go to the gym uh, this is just lay my clothes out the night before so as part of my morning routine I can just boom put the trainers on off I go I've been wearing like a weight vest uh, for like extra resistance when I'm, I've been doing that uh, so yeah the main form of exercise has been running or it's probably more realistic to say jogging i don't get up to huge speeds especially with the extra weight that i'm carrying uh, both my body and the uh, strapped on vest which makes me look like some sort of terrorist bomber uh, at least it stops people from talking to you when you're running uh, but again it's one of those things you've always got to work out what's best for you so i'm also aware that running isn't also the best for your joints so I'm gonna try and incorporate a bit more cycling as well uh, but the one thing with running as well I've noticed is it's so cold even though it's like the end of February now my hands are freezing so I have to wear gloves and then that just doesn't make it ideal for because I love I love listening to audiobooks and podcasts when I when I run and I'll make notes on things but I can't really do that when I'm uh, wearing gloves I don't have the dexterity in my fingers to operate my phone and make all the, the notes to remember the key points that I want to so I'll, what I tend to do with an audiobook is I'll, I'll listen to it twice uh, the first time is just to get the, the broad thing uh, the broad idea of whatever the author is trying to convey the main points and then the second echo <laughs> I'm under a bit of a bypass on the canal at the moment. Uh, I try and uh, I'll listen to the first the first passing, and then I mean that's when I'll just be doing things around the house as well. Say so I've got some washing to fold or I'm cooking. Uh, it'll just be playing, and then the second time will be when I'm just walking somewhere my hands are free to be making those notes if there is a, a valuable point I'll be like oh I know it's gonna make a point on this particular thing now so out comes the phone note it down and it's there in my ever growing resources on uh, Evernote on pretty much every facet of life you can think of so yeah that's my my physical 
physical health in a nutshell and I have also been eating a lot more nuts especially walnuts shout out to walnuts you are great for cholesterol and I love you dearly but before I made these physical changes I'd also made quite a few other changes within my routine uh, around uh, my mental health as well and I remember when I used to listen to uh, people like Tony Robbins and Jim Rohn and things and they'd be on like, all the different areas of life that you can improve as a bit of a self-help, uh, self-development junkie. Uh, they'd be like, oh yeah, your relationships, your finances, your, your career, and you'd, you'd break all these different aspects of your life. And then one they'd mentioned was spirituality. And I was like, oh, that's like, that's a nice to have, but you don't need that. And I was also a pretty, uh, I wouldn't say militant atheist, but I was quite outspoken about it, a student of the, the sciences. So I sort of dismissed all that as a bit woo woo and not for me. But uh, yeah, I'd say the last two years, I've really been building uh, spiritual practice into my life and uh, a lot more, not just contemplation, but a lot of meditation as well. Uh, and breathing exercises uh, so I started listening to people like Dr. Wayne Dyer uh, Alan Watts I love listening to to Alan Watts I could listen to him talk about the universe and life and what does it all mean and Buddhism and uh, existential things and everything and his voice just listen to that all day long but I don't because again this is my ad addictive and uh, compulsive uh, behavior patterns here <laughs> I have to know when to stop absorbing information actually start implementing it and executing on it so yeah uh, my morning routine and evening routine is usually a bit of meditation in there and oh Eckhart Tolle as well check out Eckhart Tolle if you are interested in this he's great for uh, all the theory around presence uh, but not, all, not just the theory, but also uh, guiding you through it and the experience of it as well. Uh, yeah, it's, some, it, it's one of these things that you can't just read about. You actually have to do it. It's knowledge through experience. It's not knowledge through books or listening. Uh, and if you do come from a similar background as me, uh, more like the sciences, uh, and you're not so in touch with your uh, sensitive emotions and things, then uh, Sam Harris is great. Uh, he comes at it from the neuroscience uh, slant. Uh, he strips out any kind of religion and things from it, and he's great for for talking about the yeah, the, more the, the the neuroscience of 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 what. He, he's really strong on what this can and can't reveal about yourself and the nature of the universe and all those kind of things so check out all those all those guys uh, and then the other one which I really enjoyed is the breathing exercises uh, so again I'm an avid listener of podcasts and I listen to a lot of uh, Russell Brand under, under the skin uh, where he gets people in from, I wouldn't say all walks of life, there's certainly a niche there, but uh, Wim Hof was a guest on there, uh, and I really enjoyed the interview they did. Um, basically, Wim Hof has this breathing method where real, real uh, quick, you inhale and exhale completely um, around about 30 times. Uh, so you do it sitting up, sometimes I'll do it lying down as well because you can really expand how much oxygen you, you take in. So you're like supercharging your body, you're really getting as much oxygen in there as possible. It's almost like you're hyperva hyperventilating and you're, uh, you can start to feel uh, some weird sensations, especially in your extremities. Uh, so you do that 30 times and then on the 30th time, exhale all the way and then you just hold completely exhale for two minutes uh, I mean you start maybe the first time you do it you won't last full a full two minutes I think the first time I did it I last about a minute 45 uh, but now I can regularly reach over two minutes and you just hold for two minutes feel 
any sensations that you you're having uh, and really go into those uh, and then your body really fights against this obviously you're depriving yourself of, of oxygen uh, this sounds a lot more extreme than it, than it is you've got to give it a go uh, don't just go off my instructions go seek seek him out online he's got plenty of videos on YouTube plenty of interviews uh, if you're into Joe Rogan he's appeared on there as well uh, and all the others like impact theory and he's doing the circuit he's, there's a lot of uh, information about him uh, but yeah so then you fully inhale after two minutes and then hold for 10 seconds really squeeze in uh, up to your head and you do proper feel it's almost like doing 20 minutes of meditation but you've achieved this in, in just a few minutes and it's great for it basically the theory is that it expels all the all the uh, non-essential things from the body you know your body is like in, literally in fight or flight so you know any maybe misformed cells pre-cancerous cells I'm not saying this will cure cancer if you have cancer or anything like that some people make these claims I'm certainly not but it will expel those cells. It's great for oxidative stress. Uh, so many, so many benefits to it as well. And it just proper clears your head. So yeah, I definitely advise Wim Hof. There's another guy that I follow on the, the similar vein uh, called Certified Health Nut. Again, he does a lot of these, a lot of these breathing exercises, uh, which is just reminding me of something else to do. I say I also mentioned oxidative stress. So something else that I've been playing around with is intermittent fasting. So uh, this was something originally from Tim Ferriss. He came across him years ago, a uh, friend, Lee Evans. Hey Lee, uh, not a comedian. Lee recommended a book by Tim Ferriss, The 4-Hour Work Week, which I still use and actually I'm re-listening to again. At the moment I was before I started filming. I'm making frantic notes on it, obviously. Uh, but he recommends intermittent fasting or maybe he doesn't recommend it but he does it and he's like hey why don't you try it uh, so that is something else that I've been playing around with but I, I first heard of this years ago back when I was doing my undergraduate degree uh, so I was doing human health and genetics and in the third year it wasn't my dissertation but one of my favorite essays that I did was on calorific restriction and uh, basically how calorific restriction can increase longevity and help you live longer and I looked at all the different animal studies now any numbers I give you now are gonna they're just to give you a ballpark idea because I wrote this essay about 10 years ago <laughs> just take it all with a pinch of salt of course help the amount of salt that you eat as well remember that but uh yeah so basically the idea is they've done these studies on you know very very small organisms such as uh, nematodes and things and then built the way up to uh, you know other model mammals such as mice and now uh, apes as well and monkeys sorry my uh, nose is starting to run a little bit but uh, the idea is I mean the classic example I remember is they take two mice that are genetically the same they're uh, twins and mouse number one can eat as much food as it wants it's got an unlimited amount of food and mouse number two gets given by the scientists 40% uh, of what the original uh, all you can eat mouse gets and it lives I can't remember how much I remember that it was only allowed 40% but it lives significant, significantly longer anyway and then they did loads of other studies where they tried uh, feeding the mouse you know double its amount of calories on day one and then day two zero calories then day three you can eat as much as it wants and just flipping backwards and forwards and again this had an effect uh, and these have been replicated through a lot of animals uh, including uh, different primates but obviously when you get up to an animal like that the uh, lifespans get longer you know, a monkey lives a lot longer than a, a mouse does and no matter how much it eats so uh, the results 
aren't fully in you know it hasn't been replicated as many times in primates but there's a whole community of humans uh, there's a lot of early adopters scientists that were studying it and now it's kind of going out into the general population they're also trying and implementing this so i thought i'd give it a go so i started a few months back uh, quarterly so every couple of months i'd go two three days on a complete just water diet the only thing i would consume is water uh cut out all food and then uh day four i think it's usually i average it around about 72 hours so i'll eat my last meal at about 7 8 p.m uh on whatever day it happens to be say sunday uh and then yeah no food for a bit uh and again it, so this has positive effects on your immune system uh on uh, oxidative stress uh supposed to help your concentration i'd say day one certainly day two a bit fuzzy day three is a write-off so you've got to time it you don't want to have an important project to be doing on day three i usually use day three to just uh meditate <laughs> just meditate it out do what you've got to do to to get through it and combined with breathing exercises as well on day three you really uh get some far out far out uh sensations and and experiences but uh i think we're gonna leave it there because i'm up to like 26 minutes i also said in the last episode episode that uh, if anyone has any questions or comments then to leave them below uh Romania Pirata, yes i can roll my ass uh left a comment saying that if i use a phrase from somebody then should i not reference them when i when i uh say it because in the uh, last time i filmed i'm trying to not say episode i used the world the world the word world domination which is one of her phrases that she uses a lot so i'm going to give her credit for that i was actually aware when i said it i was like should i reference him here uh and i realized that i was up to like 15 20 minutes already so i didn't i'm sorry but it hasn't stopped me today i'm up to 27 minutes and counting uh, so yeah if anyone does have any other questions then fire away down below you may have also noticed that i've started to do facebook lives again for a number of projects i'm doing uh, i want to get more used to talking to the camera hence i'm doing this hence i'm doing the facebook lives but uh i'm quite comfortable doing this just walking along talking uh, i prefer to to do the vlogs when i'm out and about i used to just like it visually uh, something going on in the background for you to look out rather than my face all the time but uh i also now just do it for convenience uh i'm usually on the way to somewhere i've had an idea about what i want to talk about in the next one and i can just whip out the phone and start recording hasn't really worked today because i was on the way to a shop that was about half a mile back and i just carried on recording i was in the flow so i need to about turn now and uh start heading back i should have done this a lot earlier but hey we live we learn uh, there's a bit of a strobe effect going on here for the trees uh, where's it going with that yeah if you've got any questions leave leave them below i'm doing those facebook lives as well just to get me used to it uh if i don't if you do watch it like on catch up is that the right term for a live basically once it's posted if you don't join me live also feel free to leave a comment it can be on anything uh I'm just trying to trying to get used to to doing this because as I said there's a number of things that I'm, I'm working on and uh, are in the pipeline where I really want to be able to communicate through uh, well in 21st century way isn't this how the kids do it now you may have noticed that I'm also on TikTok as well little plug there uh, I'm not going to put any links down below I'm a bit uh, sparse on time but do look into uh, Eckhart Tolle uh wim half certified health not all these breathing people maybe dietary restriction uh yeah if you've got any questions around that or anything just let me know and here it comes cringe i really need a better sign off please for the love of the lord please suggest one uh you stay classy chester